What is up guys, George Mason TV here. Today I've got the new book by Zoe Sog, Zoella. Go online if you didn't already know. She's got a book out, so yeah. I wanted to incorporate this in my video this week. I didn't want to do a review and just read it to you because that would be kind of boring. So I'm going to do YouTuber impressions whilst reading this book. So I'm going to read the pages like from page one, and a page each for each YouTuber and hope you guys enjoy it. So for the first one, I'm going to be doing Alfie Day's pointless vlog. What's up guys? 22nd of November. Hello world. I've decided to start a vlog. I'm gonna call it the pointless vlog. This vlog, why you might ask, when you shake a Coke and then you open it and it explodes everywhere, well that's what I feel like right now. I have so many things I want to say fizzing up inside of me, but I don't have the confidence to let them out. He also said it would be great to look back on when I was old and really appreciate my teenage years. It's obviously been so long since he was a teenager and he's forgotten what it actually feels like. Aha! Okay, so that was Pointless Blog page one. If you've got the book, make sure you read along also because, you know, you can see, you can see I'm not actually lying about this stuff, but um... Okay, so the next person I'm going to be doing is Marcus Butler. Hello! I did try though. My right in a diary, I managed about three entries before I gave up. Most of them went like this. Rain today, my new shoes got ruined. Jenny contemplated skipping maths, she didn't. John Barry got a nosebleed in silence, he spoke to Pencil up there. I laughed at him. The thought of writing stuff to myself in a diary seems a bit pointless, like my friend Alfie Day's pointless blog. I want to feel like someone, somewhere, will be able to read what I've got to say. That's why this vlog is anonymous, so that I can be totally me. My best friend, Wiki, that's not his real name by the way, his real name is Alfie Days, because uh, I don't want to give his name away because that be, won't be anonymous, would say that the fact I'm having to be anonymous in order to be myself is an epic tragedy. Let's move on, next person I'm going to be doing is Casper Lee. Top 10 reasons for teenage killers getting anxious. You're supposed to look at me perfect all the time. Number two, this coincides with hormones deciding to go bonkers. Number three, which leads to the spottiest time of your entire life. Making number one totally impossible. Which also coincides with the first time you've had freedom to buy chocolate whenever you like. Making number three even worse. Number five, suddenly everyone cares what you wear. Number six, what you wear has to look perfect too. Number seven, then you're supposed to know how to pose like a supermodel. I don't have a problem with these, but you know. Number eight, so you can take a selfie in your outfit of the day. You have to post on your social media for all your friends to see. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, by the way. And number 10, you're supposed to be wildly attractive to the opposite sex whilst dealing with the above. Please picture me in a dramatic, heartfelt sight at this point. But surely, I can't be the only teenage girl who feels like this. I'm not a teenage girl, I'm a teenage boy. That was Casper Lee, if you couldn't tell. Um, yeah. The next one I'm going to be doing is Harry Roadshow. He does FIFA videos if you don't already know him. What is up, guys? Basically, today I'm reading Zoella's pointless book. Not pointless book, that's Alfie Days. This is Girl Online. And basically, it's big. But yeah, let's get straight into it. But until that day, I'm basically going to keep it real on this blog and keep it unreal in real life. I'm going to say what I want and when I want to say it. And it would be really cool if you, whoever you might be, would want to join me. Oh, this reminds me, if you want to buy coins, make sure you check out MOJ in the description. Girl online, going offline, XX. The next one I'm going to be doing is Jim Chapman. Hi, internet best friends. Chapter one, present day. Hey, Penny, did you ask William Shakespeare for an anagram? Am I a Wildish speller? I looked at the text from Elliot and sighed. In the time I've been watching the dress rehearsal from Romeo and Juliet. Three hours of my life I'll never get back. Elliot has bombarded me with hundreds of random texts about Shakespeare. All right, the next one is going to be Troy Savan. Hi, my name's Troy Savan, and today I'm only reading this book, uh, page six. Um, Mr. Beaconsfield is a year 11 drama teacher. He's one of those teachers who likes being down with the kids, if you know what I mean. He's also the reason that our version of Romeo and Juliet is set in a Brooklyn ghetto. And Juliet is leaning out of her trailer rather than off a balcony. My BFIS, best friend in school, Megan, loves Mr. Beaconfield. But then he always does cast her in the lead roles. Personally, I think he's a little bit creepy. Teachers shouldn't want to hang out with teenagers. They should just want to teach them. We'll move on to the next one, which is Joe Weller. Right lad, so I got to the steps at the side of the stage and crouched down beneath Megan. She's wearing a baseball cap. I don't think she is, I can't see it. With swag printed on the front, 
and it has a thick gold chain with a huge fake dollar sign leading from the side of her neck. Nah, I don't think she has enough swag. There is no way that she'd be seen dead in the outfit anywhere else. Nah, I don't think there is. That is how much she loves Mr. Beaconfield. Sounds a little bit dodgy to me, to be honest. Sam Pepper, I see you, Mr. Beaconfield in disguise. Oh! <laughs> that is enough of that. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Maybe a part two could come out of this if you enjoyed. Make sure you uh, check out the girl online. If you haven't already got it, um, of course you probably most of you have. Comment down below every rating for each person that I did and tell me which one you think was best because I haven't watched this back yet but they sounded pretty terrible. Tell me if I do a part two which YouTubers I should do that I missed out. And yeah, this has been George Mills DV. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure you like if you enjoyed it. Like if you didn't enjoy it as well. And make sure you subscribe. George Mason, over and out. Crown music. Most YouTubers use this, depending on what genre of YouTube they're on, whether it's gaming, vlogging, you know, all that sort of stuff. It'll be different. Usually on vlogs, it's the calm, soft, what's playing 